people. The first for everything, I, uh, this video here is going to be my review on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And I had to take notes for this one because I only had two hours of sleep last night, so I have an excuse. I've never done this before having notes on a video. But I have to because I had two hours of sleep and I'm kind of, my mind's in a fog right now. Now, my review will be the only one that's a credible source on the internet at this juncture. Because if you look at my past history, I'm a former Battlefield fanboy because I used to love the game. And presently, I am a Goldeneye fanboy. And I am a former COD hater. If you look at my previous videos, you'll see I used to hate Call of Duty. So my review will be uh, basically the only fact, factual one that you can uh, have any credibility towards. Um, if you're going to hate on a game, say you're trolling, right? Because a lot of people use the trolling aspect. They'll say they're trolling on a game. When in actuality, they hate on it. If you don't hate the game, you're trolling on it. My question is to you, where's your views at in the video? Where's your views in the video? See, when you troll a game, you, you better be doing it for views. You better not be doing it. When you hate a game and you're not trolling it because you're not getting views on it or whatever, when you hate a game, you're doing it because that piece of plastic owns you. I hate the troll. Or I, mean, I, hate the, I, hate, I troll to get views if I do it. I'm not going to sit there and hate on a guy. I don't hate on plastic. Can never do that. Don't care. All right. Fluidity. The first thing about Call of Duty right off the bat, fluidity. And I'm going to keep going back to that. Fluidity. 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 Then you have the fun factor. The fun factor. Because a lot of people say, a lot of people are going to tell me this. They're going to say, you're going to hate the game in two months. I'll hate the game in two weeks. But guess what? I'll keep coming back to it and loving it. Fun factor. Fluidity. When I hated Battlefield playing it, when I couldn't stand it, never went back to it. A lot of people say, well, you suck at Battlefield. I suck at Call of Duty, too. And you know what I'll tell you to that? Call of Duty and Battlefield are based on connections. That's what they're based on. You have a better internet than me. I simply don't give a shit. Or, let me see what the third one is, because I play to have fun. Or four, I don't give a shit. I don't care about video game stats. They mean nothing to me. Until the day comes that I can go to a bank and cash in the video game stats for money, then I'll start to care. Um, now, Infinity Ward, i got to commend you for this masterpiece. I know I said uh, Treyarch had a masterpiece last year, which they did until January 15th. But I want to commend you because... You tried to take camping out of the game. I'll commend you on that with this kill confirmed and all this other stuff you did. You made the map smaller than that. You tried taking camping out of the game. But you can take the bitch out of the game. But you can't take the bitch out of the bitch. And what that means is bitches are going to camp. As long as we have bitches that believe in KD means everything, you're going to have camping in video games. It's a sad truth. But I commend you for the kill confirmed and the smaller maps, this and that. Like I said, you can take the bitch out of the game, but you can't take the bitch out of the bitch. That's the problem. So the maps are great, the guns are great, this and that. It's a love-hate relationship. Um, what else do I want to talk about here? Fluidity. Again, fluidity. I can play Call of Duty and it's very fluid. Fluidity. Fun factor. Now, what I love about this game is it's very, very, very fast pace. And like I said, I'm a former Battlefield fanboy. I used to love Battlefield. And I am presently a GoldenEye fanboy. It's my favorite shooter of all time. So that's why my credibility on this subject is all you need to know right there. It's very factual evidence what I'm bringing you right now at this juncture. GoldenEye is one of my favorite shooters of all time until today. I played Modern Warfare 2 for, or 3 for uh, two hours last night. Now I know you're going to have people say, he said he played Modern Warfare 2, it's the same thing, because that's what a hater will say. But I played it for two hours last night, and i got to say this right now. I love the game. It's my new number one favorite shooter. The maps, the guns... I love the fast speed of the game. The soldier in this game moves so much more fluider than Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. It's like Treyarch soldier. It moves real fluid. Um, you definitely brought the fun factor back. I commend you and uh, Infinity Ward for putting together this masterpiece at this juncture. Uh, what else do I love about the game? The overpowering of kill streaks that were in Modern Warfare 2 are non-existent in Modern Warfare 3. I played, every game I played last night, I had one Harrier in the sky. It's great. You don't have something in the sky every five minutes. This game is a dream to play online right now. Now, the hit detection, people say hit detection. Yeah, there are, there are a lot of times that I get in gunfights, and I know I'm playing. Because last night, I actually played on top of my game. But I only had like a 75 kill death ratio, which I told you I don't care about. But I know I played good enough to have at least a 2 KD, this and that. It's either my connection ain't good, or the hit detection may be a little bit off. It ain't nothing like Black Ops now, but I feel there's some gunfights that I should have won and I didn't win, and I'm a little upset about that. But that could be my connection. I think it is. Um, 
Like I said, I'm a former Battlefield fanboy and a GoldenEye fanboy right now. But right now, I gotta tell you, I'm really loving this Call of Duty. It's my favorite online shooter that I ever played. And I played it for two hours last night, and I had fun. I couldn't get off it. Went to bed at 6 o'clock, woke up at 8 o'clock. So I'm working on two hours of sleep right now. That's why this video may not be as good as my previous ones. Why I had to take fucking notes? Because I can't remember everything I was going to say. Um, what else was I going to say? The, the game is just, you know, you're going to get the haters out there. They're going to hate. They're going to hate the game because they wish their game was as good as mine. And guess what? You know what? You like Battlefield. That's fine. I don't even hate the game. I can care less about the game. It's a piece of plastic. Like I say, I make fun of things on the internet for views to be entertaining. That's what I do. So, you can hate on me all you want. It's not going to change the fact that I play a more superior game than you at this juncture. Um, until every developer gets it right, like Infinity Ward and Treyarch did with the fluidity movement of the character and the fast-paced gameplay and the small maps, not a map i got to run around for five hours just to find somebody, this game's always going to be on top right now. Call of Duty will always be on top. And i got to be honest with you, this review here speaks volumes because, like I said, I'm a former Battlefield fan. I used to enjoy the series. I love the series. And I love GoldenEye. GoldenEye is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm so glad it came to the Xbox 360. And after playing that for a week and Call of Duty for two hours, I'll tell you this right now. I was a former COD hater. Anyone who knows me, and my when I first came on YouTube, I hated the series. I couldn't stand it. I am now here to say that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is the best game I've ever played. And like in Infinity War, like I said, you can take the bitch out of the game, but you can't take the bitch out of the bitch. What that means is, any first person game you're going to have, you're going to have campers. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't eradicate them. You're going to have people out there that, that think this is real, this is that, they're going to play the game and get these kills and they're going to go somewhere and be like, ah, oh, I got to kill Death Ratio, but... No, no, no. you know, you're going to go, you tell a woman you're killed Death Ratio, number one, she's going to look at you strange. You go to a bank and tell her they're going to call you security on your ass. KD means nothing. I play to have fun. Do I get angry when I get beat in a gunfight? Yes, if it's connection-based. If someone beats me that's better than me, then I accept it. If someone beats me because they're hiding like a little bitch in the corner there, routinely over and over and over, I get pissed. I'm not going to lie to you. I get mad. Because I play the game, I give people the equal opportunity to kill my ass. Why don't you do the same thing? And Infinity Ward did their damnedest. Their damnedest to make this a... Which it is a gun-on-gun -gun game. I'll tell you that right now. It's the most gun-on-gun -gun game I've ever played. But they did their damnedest to eradicate campers in this game. But you can take the bitch out of the game. But you can't take the bitch out of the bitch. And that is what we have going on in any first-person shooter right now. So, what we learned today is that my review is credible. I have all the credibility you need to know about FPS shooters. It's all I play. It's like what I specialize in. I love FPS shooters. Now, Battlefield 3. I'm not saying it's a bad game. This is not for me. I like action. Chaotic action. This game is non-stop chaotic action. You, you will not run for more than 10 seconds without getting killed. I'll guarantee you that. You won't do it. Um, the camping's always going to be there. But the kill confirmed mode is a thing of genius. I love the fact that your genius has thought of this first. I've never seen it before, and it is uh, the dog tag thing. I love it. It makes the gameplay so fucking smooth. Because I go get them dog tags, and even if they ain't mine, I take them. Kill confirmed. That's why it's called that. Um, fun fact of fluidity. People, like I said, people say I'll hate the game in two months. I'll hate the game in two weeks, but I'll keep coming back to it. Love-hate relationship. That's what Call of Duty is. You love to play, and you'll hate it at the same time. Whereas in other games, I'll hate it after a week, and I'll never go back to it because I just got bored with the controls, and I got bored running around for five hours. Uh, what else? That's about it. Oh, like I said, you can say I'm bad at any video game you want. I don't care. I play for fun. I play to have a good time. And Call of Duty is where it's at right now for me. So, this game stacks up against Modern Warfare 2. It's similar to that. It's similar to Black Ops, but it's better than both of them, in my fact, opinion. It's faster paced, um, more gun on gun. It's the most gun on gun game I've ever played besides Goldeneye. Goldeneye is nothing but gun on gun. But this game is the most gun on gun game you'll ever play in your life. And the online, from what I've seen so far, is very smooth. Uh, I've never had a kick out of the lobby, I've never had any problems getting into the game. And like I say, I don't even know the guns are used yet. I've been using the Scars Week, I will tell you that right now, and I've been using the UMP. Now, the people that were higher levels than me, like I said, they had the game for five or six days. That wasn't a contributing factor. I've only seen one person level 37, and the other, or level 57 or 80, whatever, level 80, whatever. I've, the highest I've seen other than that is level 37, which I'm level 22 right now at this juncture. 
So I'm going to get you more gameplays up. It might not be for till tomorrow because I'm kind of tired right now. I'm going to try to get some sleep. But you want an honest review on Call of Duty. A factual review that is very conclusive from a former Battlefield fanboy, a former COD hater, and a former GoldenEye fanboy. I'm here to tell you. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is where it's at right now. If you want fast-paced online gun-on-gun -gun combat, fun gameplay, fluid gameplay, fluidity, 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 and you want fun factor. I'm going to keep going back to that. Fun factor. Fun factor. Then Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is your game. If you want to hate on it, show me your views. Because when you hate on something, there's got to be a reason other than being ass heard about it. Show me your views. Look at my uh, Battlefield views. There you go. So, what we learned today is Call of Duty is still first person king. King of shooters. Battlefield 3 just ain't my game. I'm not saying it's to the Battlefield fanboys. I'm not saying it's a bad game. It's just not my style of game. I like gun on gun combat. Fast paced, hectic action. Chaotic action like I live my life. That's what I like. That's what I like. And that's what I get in Call of Duty. Uh, it immerses me in the gameplay. The graphics, real quick, the graphics are the best graphics I've seen in the video game to this day. To this day, they rival Crisis 2 graphics. In my factinion, and we know what factinion means over opinion. Yeah, we know what that means. So, what more can you say? A review from a former Battlefield fanboy, a former GoldenEye fanboy, and a former COD hater. How can that not validate itself? Um, will I play tonight? Yes, I'm going to play tonight. Um, i got to get some sleep, though. I had to make a list, and I never do that. Usually I just sit here and throw from the hip. But I just, I, I have no sleep because I've been playing the damn game all night. only have two hours played on it, but I was uploading a video for my greatest subscribers on YouTube. That's what I do for you. Anything else? I think I covered just about everything right now. Oh, real quick, hard edition. That's the unboxing. I don't do them, but that's what it looks like. 